After long consideration, I've decided to come back and make a part 4 to my pen platformer series. It's been nearly a whole year since my last video on this series. So, if you're still with me, hopefully this video can help you. So the first thing I want to do is actually make the game scroll. Because as you can see, if you move the player around, the level just stays still. Now, be earlier, we had a camera X and camera Y variable that would change the position, position of the um, level in the game. So, to make this actually scroll, what we have to do is create a new custom block. And we can name this follow player. And make sure to check the run without screen refresh. Now, in this block, we're going to set camera X and set the camera Y to the player X and player Y. And we're going to make sure to put this block in the main loop right here. Now, when I play the game, the player seems to stand, stay in the center of the screen while the level moves around it. And I believe we should actually put this right before this block so it takes place at the start of the frame. See, now the player stays in the exact center of the screen. But we don't quite want this because it looks like the level is bouncing around and the player is staying still. So this is why we're going to use a glide function. So what this is, is we just um, take the divide and we do change camera X by um, player X, take away camera X, divided by eight. We're gonna put this here, remove this, and then add one of these for the Y variable too. Make sure to change it to player Y and camera Y. So now, the player looks much more smooth and the level seems to actually move around nicely. So we can delete these blocks and move this script up here. Now I think this game is looking a little sparse. Perhaps adding some dangers might spice it up. So to do this, we're going to have to change around our collisions. So currently, our collisions are registered in a list from one coordinate to the other and drawing each line. So one line is um, four values. So an X value uh, from one point, which has an X value and a Y value to another point, which has another X value and Y value. So we have three lines, which means we have 12 points. Now, in our touching script, we just use a simple rectangle collision to figure out if the player is touching it. But the problem with this script is we don't tell the player what they're touching. All we know is that it's touching something. So we don't know if it could be touching a danger or something red. So before we do that, we're going to um, change this um, draw line function. And we're going to add um, a type. And in this type, we're going to create a new if statement that says if type equals zero, set um, pen color to white. And if it's um, anything else right now, we're going to set it to a red. So, Now we haven't specified the type just yet, so we're going to have to put in all these values for the player and the level. So now our level looks normal again. So now I'm going to add an extra one that has a type value of 1. And we're going to do this from 0, 50 to 50, 50. Now we have a little red value. Actually, that spawns in the player, so I'm going to move that up. Um, I'm going to move that up by 50. Actually, 75. I'm just adding 75 to the Y coordinate. So now the player doesn't spawn in it. 
Now, but if you see, we just sit on this platform like it's a normal platform, but it's red. We want it to kill the player. So, to fix this, we're going to go into our touching script. And we're going to change how we detect what the player is touching. So we're going to make a new list called player touching. And we'll just make this for all sprites. Now, we are going to delete all of this player touching at the um, right here after delete all of collision list. But in here, we're going to add something to collision list every time something is touching it. Now, this will break our game for a second, so we'll um, click the stop button. So, we're going to add this to player touching. Okay, so we need a fifth value in our collision list. So right here on the draw line, we're going to also add the type to the end of it. Now, we have to go back to here, and divide it by five, and change the collision counter by five, because now our collision list has increased in length. Now if we restart the project, you can see that our collision list has expanded to have 20 values now, because there are four lines, and each line has five values. So, now we're just going to change these values. So, since we want our first value um, to be here, we change this to four, so we just add one to each of these. So now we have, this is less than the um, collision counter take away two, so if it's five, then the first value is three, so that'd be a hundred, or the first, the second x coordinate. So now that we have that, we can add the we can duplicate this and just do collision counter and add this to collision list. Now, if we start the game, we can see that it just breaks once more. So to fix this, currently our collisions are running off the other system, so we're gonna use that too. So right now, we can see that the player list is empty, but we have to go to our um, touch X and touch Y scripts and change this around. So what we're going to do is if um, I um, if collision list or player touching contains zero and we're going to replace that and we're going to replace this we're going to do the same right here we're going to do the same here. Ah, I found my bug. Um, so I forgot that we have to delete all player touching at the start, just like how we t set touching to false. So now we can remove the touching variable. And when we restart, the player will now, again, balance on here. We can actually remove this touching because I put it in the wrong place. So now, if we can't see it in the list, but when our player is touching a white line, um, the number zero is added to kill, um, player touching. But when it's touching a red line, it's added. It, one is added. So you can see how one is added right there. Now, we can detect when the 1 is added. So, all we go in here is we go if, um, if collision list, or player touching, sorry, con contains 1, all we need to do is respawn the player. So, we can just duplicate these. Um, right here, and now when we hit this, we end up back in the spawn point. So now that that red line will now kill our player. But 
I don't want to leave it here because this doesn't look very good. It looks kind of like the player's just glitching over here. So that's why I'm going to also, I'm going to add a little bit of a glide. So I'm going to take, um, repeat times 10. And we're going to change the, do the, apply the same glide that we did with the camera X. So we're going to take this and we're going to go back to the spawn point. So this time we're going to change the player X and player Y. Right here. And we're going to make this something smaller, like four. And we're going to change it by this. And let's just set these to this value. So now what we're going to do is um, copy these scripts right here because we need to render the player moving and add an erase all along with the loop. So now when we die, we should um, bounce back to our original position. Hmm, not quite. Now to see what I did wrong. see what I forgot. I forgot to set the player Y to 50. Otherwise, we were gliding back into the middle of this block, which was causing it to look very strange. So now, as we can see, I hit this, and it glides us back into the original position. And we respawn. And just to make sure we spawn in the actual position, I'm going to increase this loop and then at the very end of it, I'm going to actually set the player Y, X and player Y, to the values. So 0 and 50 for the player Y. And we just put that there. And now, when we touch it, we end up back in our original position. So now, our platform is starting to take shape. We can run, jump, the level scrolls, and when we hit a danger, we respawn. So that's where I'm going to end this episode for now, but I'm going to quickly make the next episode so I can finally finish this series and allow you to make an actual pen platformer. <laughs>